entrepreneurs with Sharia compliance, knowledge and skills. Entrepreneurship in Islam promotes fairness, accountability and ethical practices, offering a non-interest model that fosters economic growth and wealth creation while adhering to Islamic principles. The center of discussion at the third edition of the Business The Way Allah Wants It conference held in Lagos at its first edition in Abuja. The event brought together Muslim entrepreneurs and youths to learn the Islamic approach to business and explore opportunities for personal and economic growth. It featured a business conference, product exhibitions, lectures and networking sessions. Convener of this session, Kauthao Lanio, highlighted the initiative's objectives and the launch of Africa's first Islamic business school aimed at equipping individuals with the knowledge to succeed in business while adhering to Islamic values. So this was created out of um, the need to just help community, even the non-Muslim community that loves the halal, the non-interest finance business models, you know, to adopt these amazing terms, amazing plans to run their businesses. It's a platform built um, to educate and enlighten um, Muslims uh, on how to conduct their businesses um, in an halal manner. Speakers, including Muslim experts across various fields, shared insight into adopting non-interest models, operating ethically and leveraging entrepreneurship to contribute to economic growth. The program is an annual event whereby we come to rub minds together and um, connect as regards um, Islamic finance. Uh, we are Muslims and we also need finance, but it has to be in accordance with the laws and dictates of Islam. I am close to the Igbo guys and I've studied their business, so I came to share it with the Muslim Ummah for us to know that there are certain principles that if we apply in our own lives, they are halal, and if we do it, we are going to get better, transform ourselves and become better. Participants commended initiative, noting how the sessions have reshaped their understanding of business while empowering them with practical skills and a renewed sense of purpose. Beyond we coming here to um, you know, listen to amazing speakers, educators on different aspects of business and finance, I think what's most important is for us to be able to go back and put into good use whatever we've learned from events like this. Access 24 News correspondent Tesli Molanino reports that the initiative continues to create a platform for Muslim and non-Muslim entrepreneurs to thrive through ethical and innovative business practices.